Today, I'm gonna to show you how I verified both of my Instagram accounts in under 30 minutes with this brand new safe method from Meta. I did this first on my business account and then tried it on my personal. Both of them worked, both of them were super easy. I'm gonna run you through that today. This was all without having to have a dodgy Telegram contact, spend tens of thousand dollars on press releases and wait months anxiously. So this is a brand new way to get verified that Mark Zuckerberg announced last month and would be test running in both New Zealand and Australia called Meta Verified. And it's super simple. It's essentially a program they've put together to allow you to pay to get a verification tick as well as multiple other benefits that will help you with both your support of your account to keep yourself safe, grow faster, and avoid impersonation. All I had to do to use this was to go to the top of my profile, click the three lines, go into my settings, scroll down to the bottom and click on the account center. Then down the bottom of the account center, up pop the prompt Meta Verified. Once you click on that, it then will show you all of your accounts that are under that account center. So for me, I had my personal account, Josh Ryan, as well as one of my theme pages. As you can see, my personal account was available for verification. My theme page was not. That's due to the fact that currently you can only verify verify personal accounts. I imagine once this rolls out worldwide and everyone has it, they'll find a way to better verify businesses, people who use stage names like musicians or other creators, but for now, just personal accounts. And I assume this is because it's a lot easier to verify someone's identity when they can just simply submit their ID. So after clicking on that, it pops up with a screen that'll show you all the fight badge, profile protection against impersonation, increased reach due to visibility in comments and in search, direct support with a real person for issues that affect your account and this is a big one that most of the people will happily pay for just for that alone even without the verification i imagine and then exclusive stickers you can use honestly i don't really know what they are what they do but they're there and all of this comes at a cost of 29.99 dollars 99 a month new zealand in america when it rolls out it's going to be 11.99 so we get a bit shafted on the exchange rate but for those of you in the us that's not an issue after clicking subscribe it was very simple all i had to do was pay them and then they said it would take up to 48 hours to verify my identity and have the blue tick appear and if my verification didn't go through if they couldn't confirm my identity then it would take up to 60 days to refund to which i would then be able to try again now that's a bit rough so make sure you actually follow the steps when you go through this yourself so you don't have to wait 60 days to then try again now a little side note on this when i first tried this on my private account so after i'd already verified the business one i got rejected the first time because i actually had ai enhanced image as my profile image a lot of people went out there and created profile pictures using Lenser, I believe the app was called, myself included, and they look cool, but they won't allow you to get verified because it's not technically a real image of you. So luckily I could then just change my profile picture, redo it, but if you did this too many times, I've had other friends who weren't accepted altogether. So make sure when you do go to verify, it is a real profile picture of you that is not edited. Now on the next screen, they then asked me to check my details. So make sure A, that my name was my real name in the name tab, not necessarily the username tab. Made sure that the profile picture was of my face, clearly visible, and then that I had two-factor authentication on. All of you should have that on regardless, so make sure you go ahead and do that, even if this feature is not yet available. After this, I simply had to show them my government ID. For me, I used a driver's license, and then literally 30 minutes after submitting this, it was all done. The verified tech was there. I had access to a ton of support articles. I could contact a real person if an issue came up, if my account got banned or flagged or reach dropped, or there was potentially copyright violations. There's someone there I can contact. So now for just $29 a month, all of those people who were previously impersonating my account, trying to go out there and message you guys, my audience, that's pretty much should all be gone. The odd person may still fall for it, but this adds a massive layer of protection. I haven't yet tried out the feature where you can actually ask support to remove these accounts for you. I will potentially do a follow-up video on that, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty good. Now, regardless of whether you agree with this feature being a paid feature or being free or, or however you look at it like that, you might as well take advantage of it and jump on it now because it's a cheap way to protect your audience and potentially in the short term, it'll increase your status. That's not really what it's all about but it is going to probably help. In a perfect world, this would be free. You'd have accounts getting verified if they were at risk of impersonation and everyone would be happy. But 
that's not the case and still even as it is being able to pay $30 a month is a pretty good deal to keep everyone safe to avoid impersonation and to have support when things happen with your account how good that support is going to be once a ton of people are using this feature is yet to be determined but hopefully they do a good job finally verification is about verification of identity now and no longer just status that's it for this video if you enjoyed it subscribe like and check me out on instagram where we're posting daily content helping you grow and monetize your audience.